Shark Bite Bay. It was in Target for the 2011 holiday season. Came with uh, 18 cars. Pretty nice. Uh, it's basically a gift set. It was for the 2011 holiday season. Originally priced $39.99. I waited until it went on clearance after Christmas. Picked it up for uh, $27.98. It was, uh, as you see on the sticker, only at Target. I figured, hey, $28.00. It comes with 18 cars, so basically I get the play set for uh, 10 bucks. Not so fast, Hot Wheels. Bye, guys. <laughs> I'm waiting for you, Hot Wheels. Try it again, Hot Wheels. <laughs> hey, it looks like this thing's one of those uh, pop-open play sets. Troy, just pop it open and it's ready to go. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the details. I'm sure many of you guys are uh, familiar with the Shark Park, the Shark Park place. They've been around for 10 years. I'll go ahead and compare the two sharks. They look a little bit different. The eyes are in a different spot. But yeah, I'll be comparing the two as well. Even though Mattel stopped putting exclusive cars in with the play sets, what they did do is they took uh, certain cars and these cars would only be available in uh, multi-packs and play sets so it's nice to see the Pikes Peak Celica and the Toyota Celica returning to the lineup 99 Mustang and even for the fantasy cars kinda need to see a Shredster back again I'm gonna go ahead and uh, you'll see the names of all the cars at the end of the video I wanna get uh, to the play set let's get this thing opened up something that I really appreciate Mattel doing the last few years is they've been using these kind of uh, tabs to release the play sets from the uh, box just kind of lift the tab and then you turn this comes right off lift the tab turn it comes right out they've been using a lot uh, less of those uh, metal uh, twisty things that and plastic twisty things that take forever to get out of the play set it said there's uh, 18 cars let me turn this a little bit 18 cars there were 17 loose it looks like we got a little uh, custom Camaro, I think, a little convertible Camaro for car number 18. When the batteries die, you need uh, three button cell batteries. Let's go ahead and pop it open. Hmm, pretty much ready to go. Let's get our car out of here. All right. When you set up the surfboard, Inside the mouth, you see there's like a switch right here. Well, that switch, you want the surfboard to be on this side. Don't have the surfboard on the other side of the switch. Have it just like that. Okay, I got the uh, mouth propped open. Let's go ahead and close these crash gates. I'm going to go ahead and use see you later to do a little drive around.
I'm sure you noticed the launcher. Let's prop open his mouth. It basically hits his front two teeth. It's a sensor. Now when you hit it, I do notice that this little purple thing slides. I don't know if it's supposed to make his mouth close or not. It's not, make, it's not closing when I do it. And it won't... Uh, he won't make any sounds anymore. So I don't know if this one has a... I don't know if you have to open and close his mouth every time. I kind of just like leaving it closed because then it'll make the sound every time. One thing that I forgot to show you is that it has a little wave right here underneath the mouth. So there's a lever in the back. And so when you hit that lever, the wave comes out. So I guess you play with it like this. You drive up, you park your car right here, and you miss the wave. Now let's go ahead and do a comparison between Shark Park, which has been around about 10 years, and the Shark Bite Bay, which is this video. Here's Shark Park. Pretty much got a uh, elevator. Then the car rides a roller coaster going down. I did a review of this one. It's basically a, a one lane gravity racetrack. And there's the shark, and he has his own sounds as well. So you go through that, and then you drive up through here. It's very simple, but it's basically a. Two. I'm gonna have to shut you up. Hey, uh, it's basically two pieces. You got your wave on the end. And okay, that's it. Then this piece here. So it's a lot sturdier. It's rather solid, and it just has a few pieces. The only thing is the it does have this pizza piece, and it does get lost. Everybody loses that uh, piece to piece. Hey look, he tried to eat it. Size comparison between the two. Go ahead and back up. The play area for the two is about the same. Shark Park's a little bit bigger. But the Shark Bite Bay, I think, is a little more, more interactive. The kids actually handle the car and drive around the road. Has a lot much more road. This one, you launch the car and it goes. This one, you do a lot more driving. Not only that, this one collapses. The only thing is, uh, the roads are a little bit thin and they might come apart, but nothing actually comes off the set. They all have these metal hinges, so even, even if it uh, pops off, it's supposed to be uh, collapsing, right? Even if it pops off, you don't lose any of the parts. So both sets have their advantages. This video is for Shark Bite Bay. Stick around, I'll go ahead and show you all the cars and the names that were in this set. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.